What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel in another video. Today we are going to be doing a different type of pour. I have all the fluorescent colors. So I have fluorescent green, blue, pink, fluorescent red, orange, and yellow. Then I have a Payne's gray mixed up and some titanium white. Those are going to be for my base. All these transparent colors are going to go into another cup layered. There's no oil in any of these colors and all the colors are mixed two parts pouring medium to one part paint. I think this cup is cracked. Hold on. All right. And then we're just going to do like a jiggle pour. I don't remember what channel it was that I saw that did that, but it came out really, really cool. So for the cup that we're using to layer in, there's no ridges. Cause I do want to try to stop these colors from mixing too, too much. I would like some good color definition. I know they're going to mix a little and that's okay. But how's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing amazing. I'm having a good day. We're not going to use all this paint in them that's in this cup and that I've mixed up. So we're just going to go through some of the layers. It's starting to warm up here in Phoenix. I'm pretty sure winter is over. It's going to be in the 80s today, which is awesome. So right now I'm just layering colors. That's probably all I need because I, I do. Because I also want some negative space. Couldn't get that word out for some reason. All right, so so what I saw was he did a spiral in the middle of his, but he or she, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to try to find the video, but I'm not gonna do a spiral. Let me save a little bit of this white for possibly later. Now he did a spiral through his, and I thought that was kind of cool. I just wanna do mine a little different. So I'm just going to put some on this stick here and drizzle it across, creating some pretty different just lines. It doesn't have to be anything perfect. As you can see, like nothing I'm doing right now is perfect. I'm just adding that little bit of dark, this Payne's gray to over top of the white. I think I'll do the same thing with the white too, just to get some cool like layering of these colors. I think that's good. I like it. All right, and now we have our cup here. And we're going to kind of jiggle pour over. spin it while we do it too because I think that to get the look that person got they did have it spinning when they were doing this all right so <laughs> me spinning it I'm trying to like get it into certain spots all right, let's slow that down. Wow, that's cool. Okay, that's really cool. Let me try adjusting a little bit. I do want some of these bigger lines to stay on the surface. Now really, I think like that's it. We could just spin it out and we did get some really cool overlap of the white on top of the dark. Just a nice spin, nothing too rough or hard. And get my hands covered in paint as I try to slow you down. Wow, that is cool looking. 
And that was very simple to achieve too. Any of you guys could do this at home, but that looks so nice. Just the colors in it are really cool. Well, let me get you guys down here and check this thing out. It's really awesome. And it was a very easy pour. I know you guys can do this. I really love the transparency and the layering in this. And the fact that it was actually just really fun to just play with the paint. And not really worry too much about like, what is it gonna look like? Just to enjoy the process. I think it still came out pretty cool. Very abstract. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.